So we're going to do another example here. 9x squared minus y squared minus 90x plus 4y plus 140. We know this is a hyperbola because we have quadratic terms and they are opposite signs. So we are going to reorganize so that we can complete the square. And I'm going to go a little bit more quickly through this to try and keep up with you. 9 times the quantity x squared minus 10x, and I'm going to complete that square. I'm going to factor out the negative, so I've got y squared minus 4y, and then we'll complete that square, equals negative 140. Half of 10 is 5, 5 squared is 25, and we know now that 9 times 25 is 225, so we'll add that to the right-hand side. Half of 4 is 2, 2 squared is 4, negative 4, so we're going to subtract 4. 225 minus 140 minus 4 is going to give us 81. So we've got 9 times the quantity x minus 5 squared minus y minus 2 quantity squared. We'll divide everything by 81. And we get x minus 5 quantity squared over 9 minus y minus 2 quantity squared over 81 equals 1. So our center is going to be at 5, 2. This is going to open horizontally. So it's going to open away from the y-axis. And I've got an x radius equals 3 and a y radius equals 9. So my major axis equals 9, and that's the y-axis. And my minor axis equals 3 and that's the x-axis. So this is this is going to be wide because we have a, a, a major axis equaling 9. So let's see if we can do this successfully. Write 5 up 2, so there's our center. And then we're going to use our axes. So we've got an x-axis of 3. So we're going to use our radii along those axes. And then we've got a major axis, which is along the y-axis of 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Perfect. It just fit in there. And then don't forget to use your straight edge. We want as much accuracy as we can get. And our slope is 9 over 3, or just 3. So up 1, 2, 3, right 1. Up one, two, three, right one. Up one, two, three, right one. And I messed that up a little bit. There we go. And I'm just going to go for it here. Let's try it one more time. I think that's as good as we're going to get here on this using our technology. And then again, this opens horizontally, so this is going to be very wide and curved. So it's going to do something like that. And eventually, it's going to get out to those asymptotes, but it's going to take a while. It's going to take a while. In fact, the one on the right is probably a little bit too curved right here, but we're going to leave it. Okay, now let's do our foci. Our foci will be a distance of the square root of 9 plus 81, which is the square root of 89. And the square root of 89, did I do that right? No, 81 plus 9 is 90 today. 
the square root of 90 is approximately 9.5. So this is interesting. Watch this. The wider it is, the further away from the bottom of the bowl. So when I say the bowl, this curve is the bowl. 9.5 units away from the center. Now remember, the center is at 5, 2. And I like to see that. So y is going to stay the same, but I'm going to have to adjust 5, the x-axis. So 5 plus 9.5 is 14.5. So 14.5 comma 2. And then when I take 5 and I subtract 9.5, I get negative 4.5. So negative 4.5 comma 2. And those are your foci. Now I'm going to change the color of it so that everything is uh, the same color. I like to be color coordinated here. And that leaves us our asymptotes. So our asymptotes have a slope. Asymptote slope is equal to positive 3, up 9, right 3. So positive 3 and negative 3. And this time, I'm going to go through the center of 5, 2. So the point is 5, 2. So my asymptotes are y minus 2 equals 3 times x minus 5. y minus 2 equals negative 3 times x minus 5. And I feel pretty comfortable that either on the, on the last one or, and or this one, if you need to put that into slope-intercept form, you distribute the three combined like terms, solve for y, you're good to go. So I think we got everything there. Our center is at 5, 2. The major axis is 9. The minor axis is 3. 9 is the y-axis, and 3 is the x-axis. The location of the foci, let's just be clear, the location of the foci are the ordered pairs. So not the 9.5, 9.5 just tells us how to get the ordered pair. And then the equations of the asymptotes are right below. Okay, in the next video we'll do this try. And that's going to finish it up. It's going to finish it up for this lesson.